Imagine this. With just one activation, your body lifts off the ground, gravity disappears, and you take full control of yourself in midair. No cockpit, no wings, no runway, just a human and the open sky. This is the jetpack, a personal flying device capable of reaching speeds up to 400 km h turning humanity's dream of flight into reality. From top-secret military projects to breathtaking shows over the skies of Dubai, the jetpack has gone beyond the limits of technology to become a symbol of freedom and the desire to conquer the skies. Every movement of your body is a command, every tilt of your shoulders a graceful turn. It's not just a machine, it's the fusion of human and sky. Join us as we explore Jetpack, the spectacular leap that opens a new era of aerial transportation and the ultimate dream of absolute freedom. Under the blazing sky of Dubai, where skyscrapers touch the clouds, a lone figure soars through the air. Jetman Yves Rossi, the man who turned humanity's dream of flight into reality. No cockpit, no cables, no enclosure, only a jet-powered wing strapped to his back and endless blue above. Jetman became the symbol of a new era in personal aviation where humans are no longer passengers, but true pilots of their own bodies. His creation, known as the Jetman Jetpack, is often called the artificial wings of the 21st century. Built from carbon fiber, the 2.4 meter wings feature four JetCat mini jet engines, small turbines usually used in large model aircraft, but modified to deliver immense thrust. Together, they generate enough power to reach speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour and maintain flight for eight to 10 minutes, depending on fuel. The entire system weighs around 55 kilograms when fully fueled, allowing the pilot to wear it directly on the back and experience a true sense of freedom, as if becoming one with the sky itself. What makes Jetman truly revolutionary is its body-controlled flight mechanism. There are no handlebars, flaps, or electronic stabilizers. Every tilt of the shoulder, stretch of the arm, or bend of the leg instantly shifts direction, altitude, or speed. This direct, intuitive control gives Rossi an almost instinctive precision, merging human reflexes with aerodynamic flow. Takeoff is equally extraordinary. The pilot is released from a helicopter or airplane at an altitude of 2,000 to 2,500 meters, then ignites the jet engines to accelerate and stabilize in mid-air. In the event of a malfunction, an automatic parachute system deploys, ensuring a safe descent back to Earth. Through innovation, courage, and perfect harmony between man and machine, Yves Rossi achieved what once belonged only to dreams the ability for a human being to fly freely through the sky. After the success of Jetman Eve Rossi, personal aviation entered a new chapter, this time not with wings, but with a flying board. In 2019, under the bright Parisian sky, Frankie Zapata, a French inventor, stunned the world as he soared through the air on the flyboard air a personal jet-powered device capable of reaching speeds over 200 kilometers per hour. In that breathtaking moment, surrounded by cheers, humanity seemed to truly touch absolute freedom, unbound by the ground, wings, or the limits of gravity. Unlike the Jetman, which requires a high-altitude launch, the flyboard air offers vertical takeoff, allowing the pilot to rise from the ground with a single command. The board is powered by mini-jet turbine engines that generate immense thrust, enabling it to climb up to 3 kilometers high, fly at 200 kilometers per hour, and stay airborne for up to 30 minutes. Built from ultra-light yet durable materials, it can carry up to 200 kilograms, including the pilot and equipment. At the heart of the system is an electronic hand controller, allowing the pilot to fine-tune thrust, direction, and speed with incredible precision. Every small movement, a slight tilt of the wrist, or a shift of the body, is instantly detected by responsive sensors, 
creating the sensation of merging completely with the machine. There's no longer a boundary between human and technology, only the pure, exhilarating feeling of flight. During public demonstrations, the flyboard's speed and altitude are strictly limited for safety. Yet the image of Frankie Zapata flying over Paris, holding a rifle during France's Bastille Day military parade, left the crowd speechless. It wasn't just a stunning display of engineering, it was a symbol of a new era where human intelligence and technology unite to redefine freedom in the sky. On a test runway, a motorcycle suddenly takes off, its body tilts slightly, four propellers spin at full speed, and it hovers in mid-air like something out of a science fiction movie. This is the Scorpion, an electric flying motorcycle created by Hoversurf, a bold leap in technology that allows humans to ride through the air instead of on the ground for the first time. Built with an ultra-light carbon fiber frame, the Scorpion weighs only 114 kilograms. Inside, a 12 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery powers flights lasting 10 to 25 minutes, depending on weather conditions and the rider's weight. In unmanned mode, the vehicle can be remotely controlled and stay in the air for up to 40 minutes, an impressive figure for such a compact personal aircraft. In terms of performance, the Scorpion can fly at an altitude of 16 meters and reach a maximum speed of 96 kilometers per hour. These settings can be adjusted according to each country's safety regulations, but they are already enough to make it a true personal flying vehicle. With its vertical takeoff and landing capability, the Scorpion 3 only needs a small open space to lift off and land safely. Developed by Hover Surf with a price tag of around 150,000 United States dollars, the Scorpion 3 is not just an experimental aircraft, it represents a daring step toward bringing aviation technology within human reach, turning the once impossible dream of riding through the sky into a reality unfolding right here on Earth. The Omni Hoverboard, invented by Alexandru Duru, a Romanian-Canadian engineer, stunned the world in 2015 when, for the first time, a person stood on a small board and actually flew through the air. During a test flight over a calm lake, the Omni hoverboard traveled 276 meters at a height of 5 meters, setting a world record and marking a new era for personal flight technology. The craft uses eight high-power propellers arranged symmetrically around a circular frame, generating vertical lift that allows the rider to balance and steer with precision. Its intelligent control system can adjust the thrust of each rotor independently, keeping the board stable even in light wind conditions. Although the current battery only allows for about 90 seconds of continuous flight, the Omni hoverboard is still considered a milestone in human flight, proving that free, personal air travel is within reach. Today, Alexandru Duru and his team are working to improve battery life, control systems, and propeller efficiency to extend flight time and enhance performance. Still in the experimental stage, the Omni Hoverboard has already shown that personal flight technology, once a fantasy, is now steadily becoming a reality. When the Omni Hoverboard proved that humans could fly using electric power, an even bolder step emerged, this time through jet propulsion technology. Continuing the journey toward personal flight, the American pioneer Jetpack Aviation unveiled the JB-11, a jetpack with power and performance far beyond anything before it. First introduced at the Consumer Electronics Show 2018, the JB-11 marked a major breakthrough in personal aviation. Earlier jetpacks were mostly experimental, offering short flight times, low efficiency, and poor stability. But the JB-11 changed everything. Equipped with six mini jet engines, it delivers precise automatic balancing and far greater speed. With its advanced flight control system, the JB-11 can reach 320 km per hour, climb to 4.5 km, and stay airborne for 12 minutes on a single fuel load. Beyond speed, the JB-11 impressed with real-world usability, a rare achievement for personal flight devices. Soon after its debut, 
Dubai's Civil Defense Agency announced plans to deploy the jetpack in rescue and firefighting missions, especially around skyscrapers where every second counts. With its agility and vertical flight capability, the JB-11 brings personal flight technology from the lab into everyday life, redefining how humans move through the sky. Just a few years ago, the idea of a person flying into the air without an airplane seemed impossible. Yet today, the Martin Jetpack has proven it can be done. This innovative device is equipped with two powerful ducted fan engines, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 75 kilometers per hour and climb nearly 1,000 meters above the ground. Its body is made from ultralight, high-strength carbon fiber, reducing weight while maintaining outstanding safety and durability. The Martin Jetpack runs on regular fuel, offering a range of about 50 kilometers per full tank. It also features an automatic thrust balancing and stability control system, helping the pilot stay steady even in tight or windy spaces. One of its most impressive features is the automatic safety system. If the engine fails or the fuel runs out, an airbag-like parachute deploys automatically, slowing descent and ensuring a safe landing. This built-in protection makes the Martin Jetpack a reliable choice for emergency operations. Priced at around 250,000 United States dollars, it was designed for urban rescue teams, allowing vertical takeoff and rapid access to tall buildings during critical missions. Beyond rescue work, developers aim to expand its use into agriculture and oil field operations, especially in remote regions where traditional aircraft cannot reach. As it moves toward mass production, the Martin Jetpack is poised to become the world's first personal flying vehicle for everyday consumers. In July 2018, the world witnessed a moment that seemed straight out of a movie. A man lifted off the ground, wearing a real-life jet-powered suit, just like Iron Man. This was the Gravity Jet Suit, an invention by Gravity Industries, and the first personal flying suit to turn cinematic imagination into reality allowing humans to fly using the sheer power of technology. The suit was built using advanced 3D printing technology, combining ultralight yet incredibly strong materials. Weighing only 27 kilograms, it houses a miniature engineering marvel, five jet engines strategically placed, two on the arms for steering, two along the legs for balance, and one on the back providing the main thrust. When operating together, these engines generate enough lift to let the wearer take off and hover freely in mid-air. The jet suit runs on jet fuel or refined diesel, producing thrust equivalent to several hundred horsepower. It can reach a maximum speed of 90 kilometers per hour and an altitude of up to 3,650 meters, though the manufacturer recommends maintaining 50 kilometers per hour for stability and safety. Despite its short flight time of only four to five minutes, each takeoff of the gravity jet suit represents a bold step closer to humanity's long-held dream of personal flight and ultimate freedom in the sky. In the state of California, the birthplace of many global technological breakthroughs, the idea of personal flight is steadily becoming a reality. Kitty Hawk, a startup founded by Larry Page, introduced the Flyer, the first electric-powered personal aircraft in modern history. Built with an ultra-light structure, 10 independent electric motors, and an intelligent self-balancing sensor system, the Flyer is designed like a compact aircraft, capable of vertical takeoff and agile mid-air movement. It can reach a maximum speed of 32 kilometers per hour, fly continuously for about 20 minutes, and maintain an altitude of one to three meters, providing a stable and safe flying experience even for beginners. The flyer's propellers work in perfect synchronization to maintain balance, even when the pilot changes direction or posture. Thanks to its compact size and multi-directional design, it can glide smoothly over water at heights of up to 10 meters, minimizing risks during test flights. Many experts describe the flyer as a human-sized drone, showcasing how unmanned aerial vehicle technology can be scaled down for personal use. Looking ahead, Kitty Hawk aims to extend flight range and move toward mass production, 
adapting the flyer to different environments. Instead of retail sales, the project focuses on developing a low-altitude air mobility network, a vision seen as the beginning of a new era in human aerial transportation. While Kitty Hawk was still developing low-altitude air mobility, another breakthrough soon followed. In June 2021, the world saw the debut of the Man Drone, a backpack-style helicopter directly controlled by its pilot. Compact yet powerful, it features two 90-centimeter propellers mounted on an ultra-light carbon fiber frame, powered by a high-capacity electric battery and dual-hand controllers for precision flight. Its high-efficiency electric motors respond instantly, allowing smooth control and directional movement by adjusting propeller angles. The large rotors enhance stability, energy efficiency, and the feeling of effortless lift. Though still experimental, the Man Drone represents a bold leap in personal aviation, bringing humanity closer than ever to the dream of individual flight. From inventions once seen only in science fiction, jetpacks, flying motorcycles, and backpack helicopters, personal flight technology is now closer than ever to everyday life. The test flights of Gravity Jet Suit, Jetpack JB-11, and Man Drone prove that the dream of moving freely through the sky is no longer fantasy. Challenges with energy, safety, and infrastructure still remain, yet the age of three-dimensional transportation is clearly taking shape. So what do you think? Will the day come when we can take off right from our own backyard? Share your thoughts and join us on this journey to explore the technologies shaping the future of humanity.